Today's show is all about tart things. So pucker up, baby. Pucker up. Give mama a big old kiss. <laughs> you look like you've been eating lemons. <laughs> pucker up, y'all. Bobby is going to be showing me, y'all, a delicious grilled salmon with key lime butter. And I'm pairing it with asparagus and a citrus sesame sauce, y'all. And then we're gonna be cooking up, y'all, the best lemon linguine that you ever put in your mouth. And then sweet meat sour with my orange citrus bars. So come tickle your taste buds with us today and y'all get ready to pucker up. All right, son, what are you gonna be making? Well, I'm gonna make salmon with uh -huh. uh, key lime butter and Ooh. I'm only using the butter because I'm cooking with you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, easy dish that uh, that is got a little bit of bite to it like yours. Mm -hmm. How about you? Mine's got a little bite too. I'm going to be coming down here and I'm going to be making asparagus with a sesame citrus sauce. That would go really so nicely get, with the fish. It's going to be perfect with the fish. So you go down there. I'm going to get started down here. Okay. I'm using one bundle of asparagus. Uh, to feed Bobby and me, but you can certainly double or triple that recipe. Now, I'm taking my asparagus and I'm snapping it so that that stalky part can break off and be discarded. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and cut four key limes because uh -huh. I'm going to need about two tablespoons of key lime juice for this. Uh -huh. And I'm going to need about five tablespoons of butter, which uh -huh. is equivalent to about a half stick, a little bit more. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze these key limes uh -huh. in here uh -huh. with this half stick butter. Uh-huh. Get it melting. Okay. Well, I'm gonna drop my asparagus in. And um, let me share a quick little tip with y'all. You know, I wasn't just playing around with that lemon cause I like to play with lemons. I really had intentions for it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put me a little lemon juice because a little lemon juice in your water will keep asparagus bright and vibrant green for you. All right, so I'm gonna drop these in. And almost as soon as I drop them in, I'm gonna be pulling them out because these are like pencil size asparagus and it's not gonna take long at all. So how's your butter coming, son? It's coming well. It's Good. melting and I moved on over to my fish here. I've got okay. four six ounce fillets of salmon. Uh -huh. All I'm gonna do is very simply just salt and pepper mm -hmm. them lightly. Mm -hmm. Now I have a bowl of ice water up here next to my asparagus. So as soon as it's ready, I'm gonna dump it down in the ice water and that's gonna shock it. It's gonna retain the color and it's gonna stop it from cooking because there's nothing worse than like overcooked asparagus because I'm still gonna put it through another cooking process. So just that quickly, my asparagus is ready. All right, so I'm gonna turn off Let's see, where is that ice? Don't set there me up is. for failure, turn <laughs> me <it> off. <laughs> All right, I've added a little pan coating to my grill here to make sure my fish doesn't stick. It's got a little dry seasoning on it, and I've got my key lime butter melting mm -hmm. over here. And I'm just gonna go ahead That's and just brush, brush this fish with yeah. it real lightly while it's cooking. Rule of thumb with fish is about uh, three minutes per side per inch of thickness. So if I've got a half inch thick piece of salmon here, I'm gonna cook it maybe uh, two, two and a half minutes per side. I just mm -hmm. wanna make sure that I don't overcook it. In fact, a lot of people like their fish a little on the undercooked yes, side. Yes, especially tuna. Right. And a lot of people don't like their salmon completely cooked either. Okay, son, I'm gonna start my citrus sauce. I'm gonna squeeze me out one tablespoon of lemon juice. And I'm just gonna eyeball that and I'm running it through my strainer just to catch my seeds, but I didn't have the first seed. All right, and now I'm gonna squeeze out a couple of tablespoons of orange juice. This smells so good. So does this. Now I'm gonna use about three tablespoons of butter. Get it going in my pan. And I'm gonna add like a tablespoon of sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. And I'm using the white, but you can also use the black. All right, now I've got my colander right here. 
<clears throat> I'm just going to take my asparagus out of the ice water and let it be draining. It's beautiful. And isn't that beautiful? All right, my fish is getting pretty close here. <laughs> that looks really, really good. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of sesame oil. Do you like sesame oil? Very much. That's oh very, my goodness, y'all. This is very, very powerful. You don't want to use much of it, but it's so, so good with fish. So about a teaspoon of sesame oil. And like I said, it's very, very strong. And now I'm just going to take my asparagus, run it back in my pan. So look at that, son, just that quickly. We've got a fabulous meal pulled together. Look, Honey. look at my sesame seeds popping. It looks like popcorn. Yeah, I see them. Oh my gracious. <laughs> I need to protect my eyes. Y'all don't go anywhere because Bobby and I are in here in the kitchen today having a great time. Grab a plate, son, and we'll right. plate this. When we come back, we're going to taste it. You get ready to pucker up out there. Up next, a tart and easy lemon linguine. And later, a dessert that's sure to tickle your tongue. Orange citrus bars. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Looks good. Okie doke, Bobby, it looks great. We're in here plating up this wonderful salmon, and we've got our yummy asparagus. Mm -hmm. And some good old it's white rice. And a citrus butter. Ooh, doesn't Looks that look good. yummy? What a great meal to be able to get done in just like just a few minutes, and you it's, know? It's just so easy. Mm. There's nothing to it. Not very many ingredients. I mean, this is really the way that I like to cook. Mm hmm. Mm. Ooh, oh, Bobby. I told you, I know. That's why it's my favorite thing to eat. Wow, that's good. Bobby, you have cooked that salmon like perfectly. Mm -hmm. And the lemon Perfect. in that good on it, it's kind little of key lime. just a little bit of tart. I love a little citrus on my fish. Mm -hmm. No matter how I'm cooking it, I love a little citrus on mm. my fish. That is great. It's out of this world. That's great. You mm. wanna move on? I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to learn something. Mm -hmm. We're doing a lemon linguine? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is now, not something that I cook very often. I've got my linguine cooking. To start this lemon linguine, mm -hmm. oh, that was a mouthful, <laughs> lemon linguine. <laughs> I know it was. Uh, I'm gonna need a fourth of a cup of minced onions. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dice this, this white okay. onion right here. Okay, I'm gonna need a tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna put That's that over here. That's a good start for anything. Absolutely, Onions and butter. Honey. There's very little that smells. All right, as good now as that. if you would just whack those cloves of garlic. We're not going to worry about chopping it up. Just whack it with a the knife. There you go. Put it over in there. All right. How much of it? Oh, you want three all three cloves. of these? Yeah. Because garlic goes so good with pasta, doesn't it? It does. All right. Throw that over in there, baby. Okay. Ooh, and that's smelling so good. Yeah, it does. All right, now if you'll quickly kind of chop those onions for me. Okay. I want to get those over here in the pot. And you have to be very careful when you're cooking garlic and butter because it can burn on you. So I want to keep this garlic moving around in my pot. That's great, son. Just throw me a handful of onion in here. That looks really, really good. All right, so I'm just gonna let those cook for a couple of minutes, you know, and get tender. Mm -hmm. You need the zest of this lemon? I do, I need the zest of one lemon. Okay. Make sure you don't get any of that pith, just, just the, the yellow outside. of the rind, yes. Now I'm gonna add <clears throat> one eight ounce carton of sour cream. And you can see that that's gonna give it like a rich, saucy feel. All right, in goes the, the zest of one whole lemon. Okay. That's a pretty good sized lemon. Okay. 
So I'm gonna use about a teaspoon and a quarter of lemon pepper. Okay, so in that goes. We got now, some nice fresh herbs here, mm -hmm. so you want if, some? Why don't you be chopping us up, mince us up some chives and okay. some parsley. All right. I can do that. All right, now I'm gonna add like a tablespoon of milk. Whoa, you know, it's hard to measure a tablespoon out of a full carton of milk. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't easy. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna turn that down a little bit, and I am gonna grate like a couple of tablespoons of fresh parm. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, so there we go. So our sauce is looking good. Now all I'm gonna do is take our linguine out of the water, cause it's done. All right, now I'm gonna steal a little of that parsley. Okay. Now if you'd you squeeze me. Cut you a me lemon? Yeah, if you'd just squeeze me about a tablespoon of lemon juice in here. I think we're about ready to go. That's a nice juicy lemon. That wasn't is, it? that's a big fat lemon. Okay. And it was full too. It was full. All right, so now I'm gonna cut our heat back up. And I'm gonna toss in our linguine. There we go. Sure does smell good. Looks ready. It is ready. All right, so we're ready to plate. It sure does look good. Well, let me hand right, you this pass plate. That, yeah, pass that plate over here and let's taste. All right, so Bobby, I hear you swallowing again, <laughs> son. <laughs> Like I got a waterfall going you, on in the uh -huh. back of my throat. You walked in this kitchen hungry. hungry. Which is a bad idea. All right. We're just gonna take a little bit of those chives and parsley. Okay, I'm with here you. we go. You ready? I'm ready. Mmm, we're hot. Mmm, <laughs> very good. I think it's great. It's very what simple and very good. And it would go good with that fish. I'm telling you what, son, that's some fine eating it. Coming up, it's the perfect mix of sweet and sour orange citrus bars. And later, it's a quick and easy icing. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Today's show, y'all, is all about puckering up. We're using things like lemons and limes, limes and oranges, a lot of citrus flavors, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of make you want to pucker up. Well, this next dish is called orange citrus bars. So, Bobby, if you would uh, do the honors, son, of putting the flour, the confectionate sugar, okay. and your butter in and cutting that in because I'm going to put you in charge of the pastry part of this dessert. I'm just okay? making the crust and you're making the filling? Yeah, I'm going to make the filling. Okay. Now I've got four eggs, large eggs, and I'm just going to give those a little beat. All right, Bobby, tell everybody how many. Two and a quarter cups okay. of flour. Of all purpose. So there's two. Okay, a quarter. So, son, how much confectionate sugar? I can't Half remember. cup. Okay, well, I'm adding two cups of granulated sugar to my four beaten eggs. And I'm gonna take this cup of, of really cold cube butter and I'm gonna cut it in. It's so <laughs> cold, it, <laughs> here, here, son, I'll, there you go, I'll help you get it out. There you go, just four cups, just like that, yes. All right, now I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of baking powder to the filling. Now, Bobby's using an all-purpose flour because that's our crust and we don't want it to rise. But our filling, we want it to puff up a little bit so that baking powder is gonna help do that. All right, and Bobby, I do need, son, like a fourth of a cup of flour. Okay. If you could just measure me off a fourth of a cup. 
right Thank in? Thank you, son. Yes, just dump, dump. There we go. I'm going to whisk that in. Okay, and now I'm going to add a third of a cup of orange juice. You can use fresh or concentrate. Okay, son, how's that coming it's for coming you? It's coming good, but what am, I, what am I looking for here? I want this butter you to be kind of crumbled. You want it to kind of be uh, like a cornmeal-y looking. You want it to be, you know, have a little texture to it. Yeah, if that butter using. would have been soft, I wouldn't have been able to get yeah, it to incorporate. Yeah, it, it would be hard to cut. Oh, so that's kind of the secret there. All right, now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to zest an orange. And I think I'm going to use the whole zest. So here we go. All right, I think I've Just got that this. Quick. Okay, I think I've son, got this crust about how, that, how you want it. That looks great, son. Just go ahead and put it in your dish, and we, we're not gonna have to butter this dish or anything, y'all, because you saw all that butter that Bobby put in <laughs> to the flour and the sugar, so it ain't gonna stick, I can promise you right now. I think that's about ready. Yeah, just pat that in your dish, son. And I'm gonna finish my filling. And I've gotten, ooh, a lot of good zest off of that. Orange, look at there, Bobby, and all the zest. Well, that looks good. It smells and good. I can smell it from smell. here. Mm -hmm. Mm. Tastes good, too. Okay, well, I'm ready over this way, son. All right, I'm getting real, real close. Okie doke. Because this is a glass Pyrex dish, I'm going to put it in a 325 degree oven. Okay. You need to cook anything in clear glass, you know, a little bit cooler we go. temperature because you don't want it to burn. Okay, so in the oven that goes. Well, just so happens we got one ready too. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go ahead and take You it know, out? Mama's always ready. <laughs> All right. Okay, this one's ready and it okay. looks good. Isn't that a beautiful little crust? So in this goes. And we're gonna put this back in the oven, y'all. We're gonna cook it for about 25 minutes. At 325? At 325 degrees, you got it. Awesome. All right. And we are gonna have some fabulous orange citrus bars in like 25 minutes. They're gonna be so good. All right, so they're in the oven, Bobby. They're ready? Well, they're in what? the oven, right? No, they're in the oven. We've got about 25 minutes on those, so why don't we take a minute to kind of clean up our mess. All right. And then we're going to make an icing to go on these wonderful orange citrus bars. Sounds good. So y'all don't go anywhere. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Hey, y'all, welcome back in the kitchen. I've had so much fun with my baby boy in here today. And we're finishing up these uh, citrus... <laughs> what is it? We're finishing up these citrus bars. Those eyebrows remind me of Michael. <laughs> Well, then that's you, just sick. You know, he's got, <laughs> you know, he's, he's got that white beard, that white hair, and then those <laughs> pitch black eyebrows. <laughs> All right, son. Now, we have taken our citrus bars out of the oven, y'all, and we've allowed them to cool for a little while because I'm going to put a glaze on them. And if they're too hot, our glaze will just melt. To make a glaze is just so, so simple. I'm gonna measure out four cups of powdered sugar. All right, Bobby, I need like the zest of maybe half that orange. All right. And then throw it in here in our glaze. I'm gonna start out slowly adding my orange juice because remember, you can always add two, but you can't mm. take out. So I'm gonna start by pouring about a half a cup of orange juice. And I'm gonna beat that up. That's one of the lessons that I always think about when I'm when I'm cooking is that you is that you can always add a little bit more, but you can never take it out. That's right. And I think I'm gonna go with like the half a cup of juice to the four cups of powdered sugar. Okay, son, I only need like a half half a zest 
from the orange. There you go. So that just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Let's just take our glaze and kind of drizzle it. And if you just take that little offset spatula right. and just spread it all over it good. All right. Mm. <laughs> Is it good? It's very, very good. All right, now let's cut it. Mmm. All right, and I'm gonna take the orange that you sliced, give it a little twist, kind of just sit it right there. And I'm gonna put a little piece of mint right there. And look at that beautiful, refreshing little dessert we've got. And look, we've got some extra. So you can pass this, put it in a little pitcher, and mm. pass it and let everybody put some extra glaze on there. Mm. On their citrus bar. Mm. Oh. Powerful, good. Mm. Mm. I don't want you to go home tonight. <laughs> well, guess what? <laughs> I want you to stay here with your mommy. There's an old saying in our family, Mom, and it goes like this. I love you. <laughs> I ain't above you. But I've had enough of you. <laughs>Y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>